Hi, my name's Debbie and I'm a lecturer here at Worcester College of Technology. Today on my model Elisa I am going to be doing a set using heated rollers. We're going to be using heated rollers because they actually give it a nicer, softer curl. Um, with heated rollers you obviously need to make sure that they are really, really warm um, for the hair to be able to break down its uh, temporary bonds. So I've uh, combed all the hair all the way through. The heated rollers are to be put on to dry hair and um, they won't work on wet hair. So I've just given the hair a really good comb through and I've just applied a bit of serum just to give it a, a really nice shine. So the technique that I'm actually going to use is what we call our brick wine set. Um, this then will make sure that there's no lines at all and it gives it a much more nice and natural looking um, you know, look to it. So, um, my heated rollers, okay. what we're going to do is I'm probably just going to leave a slight bit out at the front, and then using your, your plastic tail combs, so we've sectioned out the part of the fringe, and then I'm just combing away the rest that we're actually going to put in. Taking my first section straight through here, straight through the centre part in. We're going to pull it up nice and tight so you've got nice, uh, nice tension. What I'm going to do is use the larger ones through the top because really on the top we just want to give it the, the root lift and then we're going to go down through to the smaller rollers as we get near the bottom. Making sure all your ends are in. We're going to roll it all the way down nice and tight so it sits on top of the head. And then using the clips uh, that actually come with the rollers, we're just going to clip it in. Okay, so that's your first one. And then we're going to take the next section. Just half of the roller really. The roller that we've just put in, we're going to take it so it's not directly behind, if you can see. So if you can see, you've got your first roller there and then we're going to put a roller in there and then another roller in there, hence the brick wine. If you think of a, um, how I usually say it is you know, a brick wall really, so you're not going to get any lines at all. So we'll just get that. Nice and tight, so you've got a real nice tension um, and this will help with your, your root lift as well, your tension. And take it all the way down. So it's nice and tight. And then we clip in again. Okay. So once it's set back around the roller, then obviously the hair is set. Um, and that's just done by cooling it. So you put the heat on, the heat will break down your bonds. And then as it's cooling, it will then fix your bonds. And that's just on your your, your, your temporary bonds but it has to be really really hot it's the same as when you're straightening your hair the straighteners do have to be really hot to break down any of your bonds so what I've done now is I've just started moving on to um, the smaller the smaller rollers now so I've got all my my top area which is going to have to give it the fullness and to give it lift as opposed to curl and then I'm going to use blue ones just all the way through there and then we're going to drop down into smaller ones With the sides, I'm actually going to just take these back, leaving the fringe. So we're just going to take these few sections back. Yeah, and making sure you try and get the ends all the way in. Heated rollers are fantastic to use um, if you're doing your wedding hair or any sort of put-ups, and um, you know, and they are great on your on your longer hair to create a really good instant curl. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, carry on, but we're just going to use um, a different type of. Uh, 
clip really, um, which a lot of them, a lot of these types of um, pins are used with them um, with setting um, with heated rollers. They're really easy to use. They're just shaped like this really, and they're all colour coordinated as well. So obviously blue roller um, and a blue pin, dead easy. Uh, and then you literally just just pin it in like that. So what I've got left now is quite a lot of the length um, and here I'm actually going to drop down to smaller rollers so the look that we can achieve is softer through the top and a lot curlier through the bottom. With slightly smaller rollers we do need to take your sections that bit smaller. Take it all the way, winding it nice and neat pin which is the white one just pop that through and when you are cutting hair the, the bottom it always does tend to drop quite quickly so this will just ideal to keep it that bit more it will obviously shrink up um, but if you just sort of tell, you, tell your client that um, you know by the time that they obviously if they're you know if they're going out or a wedding it would have dropped slightly I'm coming right to the very bottom of the length now, so I'm just going to drop down to an even smaller roller. Again, this will just help to um, keep the curl in a bit better. There's actually all different techniques of setting you can use with heated rollers. Um, this way, the brick winds, your directional winds, um, your more sort of fancy wines, um, you know, there's, you're not just limited to this one um, section of winding. These bits are fine to leave out any sort of wispy bit because that's going to make it blend in more and I'm going to leave the fringe and then what I'm just going to do is just put a, a light spray over it just to make sure we give it some extra hold and then we just leave that to cool down. They usually take 15 minutes to, to really cool down um, and you really need to make sure they are really, really cool. Once the rollers um, have cooled, what we're going to do now is take them out. We're going to start working from the bottom and upwards so we don't get any, uh, any tangles. We need to take them out quite gently. So starting with the first one, all we're going to do is slip out the clip, roll it out really quite gently. And then what we're going to do is just spray, just to give it that extra extra hold. I'm just going to do that all the way through. Taking out your roller. Rolling it. And you see the nice already the nice just nice the curls that we uh, have achieved which is what I really wanted to uh, the effect I wanted to achieve today. Rolling it out gently. Okay, so we've now taken out all of the rollers 
Okay. So what we've achieved really is a nice lot of root lift with your nice curls through the bottom. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to dress it out now. All I'm going to use is literally my fingers. I'm going to use um, just some shine definition wax. Okay. I'm just going to rub that all the way through my hands, mainly on my fingertips. And we're literally just going to take it through. So that's the sort of look I want. I want to keep it nice and casual. So really, just really getting all the way through with your hands. And don't be scared to really try and put, pull it through. If it's, if it's set really well, the curls will not disappear. And then so I'm just scrunching my hands through and that's giving it loads of nice shine and loads of nice curl. You know, never ever be afraid to play around with the hair. Um, that's what I find a lot of with the students is that you can be quite, you know, afraid of products and, and, and messing around with the hair. That's what it's all about. It's, it is all about your finished look and really just getting in there and uh, being in control of the hair. There we are. And I'm just going to use some hairspray. Lift it up. Spray it. Let it drop. Really, it's just the, the final finishing touches. So if you wanted any more sort of volume through it, you would just be able to back comb through your roots. But we were saying we want this quite natural looking, really. I think that's just about right. So what I've done is just slightly placed part of it by, behind the ears, um, just to give it a bit more of a different look. And then we're just leaving that down nice and curly, nice and natural. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then through the back, you can see it's all just a really nice loose curl. Um, so you've made the main part of the curls are obviously through the ends, and then you've got a nice root lift all the way through. <laughs>